no one could say anything negative about her family or her friends or she'd let you have it. What was her life like? She would light up a room with her smile. She was so excited when she got into UT. She looked forward to graduating and she would have graduated in December of 2007. She loved UT football. She was working two jobs while taking a full schedule at UT. She loved to go shopping, camping, four-wheeling. She loved the beach and she loved going boating on the lake. She enjoyed golf. But most of all, she loved being with her friends. She never did any drugs. There was no proof. I know this because she told me. If I asked her a question, she would always tell me the truth. But for those who doubted, I knew my child. I have the toxicology report, and I have her work records to prove it. And she didn't smoke cigarettes. We were so fortunate to have two great kids who never got into any trouble. If she or one of her friends had a problem, they knew they could come to me, I would listen, not judge, and do whatever I could to help them. Just like any young woman, she would dream about her wedding. She had the song picked out for the dance with her daddy and her first dance with her husband. Now, he will never get to walk her down the aisle and I will never get to be the mother of a bride and I won't get to help pick out a wedding dress for her to wear or to help her plan that perfect day. She wanted four children, but she wanted the first one to be a boy. So the other three would have a big brother to watch over them like her chaser did for her. Did Shannon and Chris suffer? What do you think? I know my daughter was scared to death, but I know if she could have, she would have fought back. And I know if had the chance, Chris would, have, Chris would have done anything to protect Shannon. Chris was a wonderful young man. He treated her like a princess. And he would do anything for her. Our kids are the victims. Gary and I regret each day that we failed our daughter. We were unable to keep her safe. And as parents, you're supposed to keep your kids safe. Gary Chase and I think about Shannon and what happened to her each and every second of every day. The thought of what she had to endure haunts us each and every day. We don't sleep. It's hard to concentrate on anything else. Neither Shannon nor Chris deserved what happened to them. <coughs> they did nothing wrong. Now, I'm constantly scared for the safety of Chase, Gary, our friends, and myself. It's not fun to constantly look over your shoulder for fear someone is after you. You never think anything like this will happen to you. Well, it can, and it did. If I could trade places with Shannon, I'd do it in a second. It breaks my heart to see the hurt and the pain in Gary and Chase's face, knowing there's nothing I can do to make it go away. Shannon was taken from us way too early. She suffered more than any one person should have to endure. The last thing a parent should ever have to do is bury a child. We miss her. Such a beautiful young woman. We miss her smile, her laugh, those beautiful eyes. 
I still expect her to walk through the door. I pick up the phone to call her, only to remember she can't answer the phone. I hope she knows how sorry we are for what happened, and I pray she can forgive me for not being able to protect her. She made us all better for knowing her. A part of us is missing. There's a hole in our hearts that will never be filled. We will never be a complete family again. Shannon was proud of her family, her friends, her school, her education, and she was extremely proud of her, her, her faith in God. I miss my little peanut, and I will always love her. None of us will ever be the same. This tragedy took away a daughter, a son, a sister, a brother, an aunt, an uncle, and one day a mother and a father. We will always miss Shannon and Chris, and they, we will always love them. My perfect family is now broken. Thank you.